Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a, a kind of shiny 3D button in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to go ahead and just get started. It's a, it's a pretty quick tutorial so I'm going to just gonna go ahead and get going. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is select your... Well, I'm going to make a, a round button so what I want is my ellipse tool from my tool palette here and what I did there is I just clicked and held down until my options came up and I selected my ellipse tool. You can do this with any shape though. Now press shift on your keyboard and click and drag out to whatever size you want. I'm going to make mine pretty large so you guys can see it. All right. So now I have that first circle there. And I'm going to open up my swatches, which should be over to your right there. But if it's not, you can go up to window at the top and down to swatches, and that'll bring up your swatches. And you can choose any color that you want. I think for the uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to choose orange. It's kind of a nice, uh, it'll be nice for an on-screen uh, display. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of my stroke there, so I'm gonna select my stroke and I'm gonna do the uh, the none selection down there. Okay, so that's the that's the first thing that I want to do, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that uh, that circle and I'm, I'm gonna with it selected, press Control C on my keyboard and then press Control V, and I just made a copy and paste of it. The other way you can do that is go up to Edit, down to Copy, and down to Paste. Okay, so I have now two circles. The next thing that I want to do is I want to go to my, uh, I want to select a gradient on that one. And there should be a gradient uh, over in your, your toolbar to the right there. If it's not, I believe you do the same thing. You go up to window, down to gradient, and that'll pull all that up. And you want to pull, drag that out so it's separate from your, your toolbars. So drag it out into the middle somewhere. Okay, and the reason that you're doing that is because you also want your, your swatches available at the same time. It's because what I want to do is set that to a gradient, and as you can see it's set from white to black right now. I want it to be set from white to orange, and then I'm just going to drag this orange slider into the middle somewhere, and I'm going to drag the white one in a little bit, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to add a few more points in there, and I'm just going to keep dragging that orange color in. And I think I'm just going to do a couple more. And I'm going to add white again. And then I'm going to add another orange in there. And then I'm just going to kind of space those out kind of evenly. And we'll go ahead and just see how that looks. Do something kind of like that. Okay. So we can kind of get rid of that now. I'm going to press V on my keyboard to get my, uh, my arrow tool back where you can just select it from your toolbar. And these are the same size right now. So what I want to do is take the corner of this and press shift and click and just drag it down a little bit. And then what I want to do is select both of these just by clicking and dragging and I have them both selected. Your alignment tools should show up at the top and you want to press center align and uh, vertical align. And that'll just pull it right up into the, uh, the center area there. <clears throat> the next, uh, oh, and if your alignment tools don't pop up, go up to window down to, I believe, it is, oh, there's an align, so go ahead and click that, or you can press uh, Shift F7, and that'll pull that up. <clears throat> the next thing that you want to do is make another orange circle. So you can make a copy of your original one by pressing Control C, Control V if you want, or you can just make a new one. But I'm going to make the copy. So Control C, Control V, and I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, hold Shift, and click the the side and just drag it down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and, and center all of those, so I'm going to cl uh, click, drag, and select all of those, and I'm going to center them all vertically and horizontally. Uh, this one, this top one, I'm going to make a little bit darker. So what I can do is I can just double click on my fill color down there and just add a little bit of black to it to make it a little darker. I'll just add maybe 15%, and now that's a little darker. Um, might be a little bit much, so I think what I'll do is I'll Take it down, I think, about to 8%. Okay. And the reason I make it a little darker is just to make it pop a little bit more. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I'll zoom out a little bit to kind of see how it's looking. And it's looking pretty good. I think I'll go ahead and make that back one the same color. Okay. Actually, I think what I want to do, I'm sorry about this, but I think I want to set the front layer to that bright orange and that back one a little bit darker. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And that's just going to create a little bit more depth. Okay. 
So now you have this basic button here. Um, you can add some text if you want or uh, an image in there, like maybe a house or something for a home. Um, let's go ahead and just add a quick, we'll just make a quick house. So I'm just going to make a rectangle there and drag it on top of everything. And this isn't going to be perfect, folks, but I'm just going to make a couple lines for a roof. Make them white. And this is just to show you that you can add kind of whatever shape or whatever you want in there. And it'll just add a little bit more depth to your, uh, to your button. Okay? So I'll do that again. Okay. So kind of ignore this shape, well, other than just showing you that you should put something inside of there. Okay, so pretend that looks better. And then uh, what I usually do is I add a little, um, <clears throat> a little kind of accent inside the button. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this top circle and press Control C and Control V again. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to delete this bottom anchor. So I'll press the minus on my keyboard. Or you can uh, go over to your toolbar and click and hold your pin tool and select the minus that way. And that's the delete anchor tool. And I'm going to delete that bottom anchor. And it's going to give us this kind of nice shape here. Uh, and what I want to do is I'm going to make that uh, white. So I'll just go over to my swatches and I'll click on white and make that white. And just drag that over the top of my button. And shrink it up a little bit so I'll press click or shift and click and drag and just shrink it up a little bit and you can kind of either just drag that visually into position or you can select everything once again and uh, just vertically or I mean horizontally align it which is better and then what you want to do is you click on that shape that you just made go up to the top where it says opacity and make it like a 25% opacity and that's just going to give you that nice highlight that you want and you can shrink that and change the shape of that any way you want. Sometimes I just simply drag that bottom up a little bit or uh, something like that. But uh, I think I'll leave it like this for now. And that's pretty much it. Okay. I should have made a, a better shape for you guys. Sorry about that. But uh, you can kind of get the idea. If that was a, a nicely constructed house shape or something, some vector that you found online, it would look a lot better. And actually, what I think I want to do is have this shape halfway in and halfway out of that uh, highlight that we just made. So so what you can do is make that highlight a little smaller if you want. Vertically align it or horizontally align everything. And uh, actually you probably want to center it everything as well. Okay, so you kind of have something like this, and that's looking pretty good, other than, once again, this stupid shape that I made. So, anyway, that's uh, that's kind of how you make a button. You, if you want to, you can kind of, uh, you can add a gradient to this top shape here, and what you'd want to do is just select that top shape, and um, select your gradient tool over here, and get rid of some of these things that you added earlier. So it's just going to be white and orange. And what I would do on that one is I would make it uh, a radial. And probably what I'd do is actually I'd do two orange colors. And I'd just make the one in the center a little bit lighter. So we have 50 and 100, so maybe I'd do 25 and 50 or something do something kind of like that. So it's going from that uh, kind of orange color to a, a lighter orange color to the outside. And that just uh, will give it a little bit more of a 3D effect there. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, you have a nice shiny button here. Put a better um, vector image in there. Or actually, what I'll, maybe what I'll go ahead and do just for right now is I'll just put a word in there. And that's pretty much it. Okay. 
So I hope you learned something here, and uh, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please go ahead and click the the like button on YouTube, and uh, and please uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And thanks for watching.